You don't want me to move out? That's what I said. I know, I know it's what, man. I know it's what you said. What I want to know is what you're saying. I'm not asking for us to change or for you not to deal with Janet or your marriage. You just want me to stick around to open peanut butter jars and change ceiling bulbs? Well, our son just got out of the hospital. I know that. He's hobbling around. Right. And that's why I moved his stuff down here so he wouldn't have to go back upstairs. Right. But he may still need some help with things, you know. They say he needed help getting in and out of the shower, for example. I don't think he'd want his mother doing that. Carly, there's always going to be a reason for me to stick around. So? What does that tell you? Hey, are you home yet? Nope. Still here. That's nuts. I mean, I'm the one with a busted leg. I know, Parker. I am so bored. They're just doing all these weird tests. You know what? How, how about I come by and pick you up and we pick up a pizza on the way home? <laughs> you dork. You can't drive. You're in crutches. You know what? You practically carried me out of the woods. I I think I can drive a car with a leg brace. <laughs> It'd be easy for me to stick around until Parker was off his crutches. So why don't you? Because, like I told you before, then there'd be another reason for me not to go. And another reason. And by the time we got done coming up with reasons, I'm not sure what I'd have left in my marriage. You're right. You've been talking about going home and fixing things with Janet since you got here. It's probably time you did that. Does that bother you? Why would it? I have to get this sandwich to Parker. You understand why I have to go, right? Uh-huh. Parker? Maybe he's in the bathroom. Or... Oh, don't even. Parker! How the hell did he get out here? How the hell is he driving a stick with a busted leg? Where the hell is he going? That may be, but I, I think it's nuts that you're still here, and yet I have only one functional leg, and I'm at home. I know. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. I'm surprised to see that your mom's not here. Oh, yeah. I got mad at her for smothering me, so she's kind of MIA. But I really just think it's weird why they haven't let me out yet. I don't know why they're not telling me. Well, let's get out of here. It's the worst that can happen. You don't even want to know. Explain what you're doing here. You guys, please don't be mad at Parker because I was I was whining to him on the phone, and so then he just took pity. Are you out of your mind? Me. No, really, it's my fault. I'm sorry. It's completely my fault. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Sorry. She saved my life. I thought he'd repay the favor. Parker, you got to be home resting that leg, and you you can't go anywhere until the doctor signs your release papers. Yeah, it's getting really ridiculous. Well, that they're the ones in charge. I don't know what you want me to tell you. You love bossing me around every time. I'm not. Know. I'm not bossing you around. I'm trying to take care of you. It's Liberty. not your job. Where's your mother? Why do you care? Well, I'm asking because I think she should... Oh, you're asking because asking is just so much easier than actually being her husband for five minutes. <laughs> I've been an absent husband to your mother, and I've been an absent stepfather to you since your dad died, and I'm sorry about that. Whatever. No, it's not whatever. <laughs> I'm also your uncle, and I will take care of you for the rest of your life. Jack, don't do that on my account. I'm really. not. I'm doing it for your father, because I swore to him I would. Yeah, really? When? Hmm? Christmas Eve. Yeah. I saw him too, so did my mom. Uh, I guess he had a lot to say. Hmm. <sighs> I know that you'll never think the same way about me again. I've accepted that. And if you decide that you want to hate me for the rest of your life, I guess I'll have to accept that too. But I will always, always look after you, Liberty. I don't hate you, Jack. I just miss him. Yeah, I know. It makes missing him easier when I... Blame someone for it. Believe me, I understand. I've just, I've been 
been so awful dealing with this with you, and I, I know he's your brother and that you didn't mean to, and it was an accident. It doesn't change the fact that it actually happened. No. I just don't know if in my head I'll ever be able to stop blaming you for it. No, I get it. That's okay. I like a challenge. Yeah. So did my dad. Everything okay in here? Your son is more stubborn than a mule. No, we're okay. I'm starving. Well, that sandwich I made for you is still in the kitchen. Probably quite soggy by now. Sweet. All right, just sit down. I'll make you another one. No, I can do it myself. And besides, I owe you. I, I completely pulled a jack there, and I'm sorry. What? Going to get liberty, I mean, that's like something that you would have done. Okay, why don't you go fix yourself a sandwich and be quiet, all right? <laughs> oh. You see? see? See what? He likes having you here. Oh, that, that's what you took from his little stunt, <laughs> is it? Carly, I, I don't want to send any more mixed messages. To Parker, we're seeing you. No, you're right. We should avoid doing that if we can. Which is, is why you should move out. Okay. Uh, my stuff is kind of screwing all over the house, so it's going to take me a while to, to gather it all up. And oh, that's, that's fine. Take your time. I'm sure Emma will be thrilled to have you back at the farm with or without all your stuff. That is where you're going, right? Honestly... I don't know where I'm going next. Coward! Are you really gonna leave without saying goodbye? Come on, I can't stand goodbyes, you know that. I'm gonna be back here checking on Parker every day. It's not the big deal you're making it out to be. You're right. It's no big deal. Thanks, though. For the couch and the sandwiches and everything else. Mm. You're welcome. It was fun. Yeah. It was great being around the kids 24 7. Well, you're welcome here anytime for a visit. Yeah, well, I may be going back to work, so I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have. And what changed your mind about that, about going back to work? Target practice with you. You're quite a shot, by the way. <laughs> oh. Glad to know I still have some good qualities. Some. More than some.